Denver 7 First Alert. We just have uh, some breaking news in out of Fort Collins this morning. CSU police holding someone at gunpoint. Uh, let's get out to our photographer, Major King, who is on the scene and has more details about what led up to this, Major. What can you tell us? Yes, good morning, Nicole. Uh, this morning at about 10 till 6, just in the last 30 minutes, a female CSU police officer was being followed by a vehicle that was described as running black. In other words, no lights were on in that vehicle that was following her. This began somewhere in the vicinity of Harmony Road and Taft Hill Road on the southwest side of the city. They proceeded northbound as a CSU police officer called for backup from Fort Collins Police Services. Eventually, this vehicle rear-ended the CSU police officer, and eventually that vehicle veered off from following this CSU police officer. Uh, that vehicle was then followed by the police. Uh, eventually, it was pulled over on North Taft Hill Road uh, near Grandview Cemetery near Mulberry. So Taft and Mulberry, um, I believe, according to the scanner traffic, the CSU police officer then drew a weapon on this person to get them to come out of their vehicle, uh, all the while asking for emergent cover from backup Fort Collins Police Services vehicles. Uh, eventually, this person did give themselves up, again, according to scanner traffic, and the situation, I believe, has been resolved. Uh, they did block off traffic on northbound Taft Hill Road for a short time. I believe that traffic is now reopened. Uh, the bottom line is this person is in custody now. Uh, a weapon was drawn to get him to give himself up. It's just uh, interesting because of all of the situations that, that have happened with police around the country. I can imagine this was a very tense situation for the 20 minutes or so that this played out on the scanner this morning, beginning at 10 till 6. Right. Thank you, Major, for that update. Again, uh, CSU police and Fort Collins police all uh, safe. They do have that suspect in custody right now, uh, so this appears to have resolved in the best way possible. Dale and Mitch.